We so connected with each other In love with one another That we can't stop You got me feeling for your touch Coming to you with another video And as you can tell by the title of this video This is going to be a story time And you guys already know I have plenty of stories to tell you As I always say in my story time videos Because your girl been through a lot in life the good, the bad, and the ugly. The story was inspired by a friend that I had just recently met. We was talking about God, and he's a God-fearing man. And, you know, he kind of helped me come to understanding of a lot of things that happened in my life, which made me think of this time, as you talk about the Titus video, this is going to be a time telling you guys that I almost got shot at. And he was just telling me how God has really been protecting me over the years because if you guys just know some of the things I've been through, you will understand that for real, for real, God has really protected me from a lot. So I'm not going to drag this introduction out, um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the story. If you want to know more about this wig, I will have a wig review up in two days after this video is uploaded. Let's check this video okay so this happened back in like 2000 i think it was like either 2000 or 1999 i can't remember so yes it was a long ago story but it's worth telling for real so i was i think i was like 15 or 16 and my parents are what well, hadn't really been strict but they was protective so you know we was able to go do what we wanted to do but we still had a curfew and at that time i had a curfew at like seven o'clock eight o'clock or whatever on a school night so this was, was a school night okay so i am laying in the bed and my neighbor she and i've been cool since i was five and she was seven so i always look up to her i always want to follow her so she and i was always like this and we are still friends to this day so like we got like a 30 year plus friendship so anyways on one particular night she came up at my window and she was like hey do you want to go to this town you know this was off like this town was more for people who was like rough hood you know like drug dealers all that kind of stuff like majority of that town was those kind of people so you know in high school i was like shoot heck yeah you know saying because i thought they were fine they were sexy whatever whatever so I'm like yeah i'll be down the ride so she was like okay cool because she had already graduated high school she graduated in 99 so this had happened in 2000 so she had already graduated. She had a car. So it's me, her, and her homegirl. And I'm going to call her um, Stacy. So I'm going to call her Stacy. And I'm going to call her friend Amber. Okay. So Stacy comes to pick me up. And this is how I had to sneak out the door. So my parents always had the same nightly routine. Once my parents' bedroom door was closed, that was it. They never came out. So, I already knew that if I did leave the house, they wasn't going to check up on me anyway. And it's not like that my parents did not care. It wasn't that. It's just that they just had a routine. Um, we had a door back in the day where if it moved, my parents' window moved for some odd reason. So, you had to put your foot at the bottom of the door, kind of like ease it open. So, that's what I had to do. So, I did that, slid outside, got in a car with Stacy. We're going to pick up Amber, and Amber lives like two, three streets away from us. So we all sit in the same neighborhood. So then we ride out to the city, which was probably like 20, 25 minutes away. So I don't know why we're going. She just asked me if I want to ride with her. So I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I'm down. So we get to the city or whatever, and this is a long strip, like a long road that people hang out on throughout the night you know you of course you got your older people you got some high school kids like it don't even really matter so everybody was out just there. riding out right just riding up and down up and down up and down trying to be seen whatever and i was at the time i was like that that friend that is like okay i was shy really wasn't talking to no one like i'm my wardrobe was not even on point so i wasn't looking for nobody when i'm trying to holler no oh. amber was always cute because she was very dark skinned but she had like the perfect shape you know perfect smile everything about her was perfect and then it was my homegirl stacy she was it was she was cute you know but amber with the better out of all of us i'm just gonna keep it real so we decided to post up sit in the back of the trunk the trunk or whatever 
And this guy comes up. He was fine. He was super, super fine. And we was like, damn, at the same time. So, um, he tried to holler at Amber, of course, which I'm not surprised. And so Amber, so. you know, was talking to him and me and Stacey was just on her chilling, you know, just watching anybody else ride by, whatever. So, of course, as always, it's always that dude who got, like, multiple friends or whatever. So, he had his homeboys come up and then they started talking. Then he goes back to talk to Amber. And Amber then comes over to us like, hey, do y'all want to go to do house and just chill? Now, again, dumb, young and dumb, whatever. So, I'm following Stacey or whatever. So... Me, her, and Stacy go to the dude house. Now, when we walk up to the house, this is like a normal house. Nice yard, everything on point, you know, with a fence or whatnot. And so, we get into the house. It was no furniture. Like, it was nothing in there. It was like a bucket, like a paint bucket. Just, just chilling. One of those big ones. Is it a paint bucket? It was nothing. It was like, and Stacy is out in the living room area where Amber went in the room with the guys. So, I mean, I'm quite sure I know what happened. But, you know, Amber went in the room with the guy. And so, Stacey and I were just talking. So, I'm starting to feel uncomfortable because I'm like, okay, I'm sitting on the bucket. Stacy's standing up. And I'm like, okay, why are we here, you know? So, some dude comes out of the back of the house and he was fine as ever. Like, the dude Amber was talking to was fine, but this dude was super fine. And he comes out, he was like, yo, like, who are y'all? And so, Stacy was like, oh. And this is the day that me and Stacy came up with our <sighs> fake names. And my name has always been Keisha Keneva Connell Johnson. That was it. So, that's the day that we came up with our nickname. Our fake name and so we told him our names or whatever and he was like where y'all from so we was like we from the woods so <laughs> he goes to the back of the room and we're just sitting here like okay i mean i guess he wanted to see who's out here i guess why this dude come back so he got his hands behind his back or whatever and me i'm a very observant person at the same time it's like i'm i, I was naive too so I'm just looking at him, and he's like, so, where you say y'all was from again? And so, we had set the woods, or whatever. And so, he was like, mm. So, then he was like, so, um, which one of y'all finna come back there with me? I was like, not me. Not this one. Not this one, because, and I'm good. So, I'm like, uh. <sighs> So Stacy, she's like, um, nah, I don't know you like that, whatever. So dude was like, I'm not even finna ask you more than once, like, which one y'all come back there with me? And I'm just legit sitting there like So he ended up from the back, he took his hands from the behind his back and he had a freaking gun, yo. This man had a gun and he pointed at us. You talking about somebody was scared? I saw my life flash before my eyes, and I said to myself, like, I knew I should have stayed home. This is why my parents always tell me to be in the house at seven. Like, it was just, it was too much. And so, he was, like, legit going like this. Like, which one of y'all? And I'm thinking to myself, like, this dude is crazy as heck. So, he started laughing, and I'm like, oh, this nigga really crazy, right? Super crazy. Why this dude acting like this? So... Pretty much, I'm so out of breath, y'all. I had to turn the camera off. But, um, all I remember is I caught ghosts. When he was laughing, I was already sitting next to the door. I caught ghosts. I opened the door and caught ghosts. I could have been a trash star that day. Because I literally jumped that fence without touching the fence. When your life is in, in danger, you ain't thinking about being hurt. You just think about not getting killed. So, I jumped that fence, jumped in the car. I'm like hovered over like in a fetal position all i know is i hear somebody boom 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 the door i'm thinking it's him i started crying it's stacy i had locked the door right so yeah i wasn't i was that friend i don't think about nobody but myself. i'm like girl we gotta go we gonna have to leave her i don't give a damn like it is what it is because i feel like we, we almost died we almost died and she was like no i can't leave my home girl whatever so i was like that's cool i'll 
I was gonna call my brother to come get me I didn't even care I wanted to get the hell away from there like real talk so the dude comes out the door and he was like where y'all going where y'all going Stacy crunk that car so quick fast in a hurry and she left her friend I, it's all it took to see the nigga, the nigga face again she left him I mean she left her and I was like I won't be going nowhere with your friend and I'm so serious and I meant that to the bottom of my heart I wasn't going nowhere else with her friend I wasn't sneaking out that house no more which in the time I said it but I still did it but I was good so you got to be mindful of who how she go to when you don't know that person the time that I almost got shot at could have got shot at rather so just be mindful don't just be going to people's house because they seem nice or look nice or whatever because you don't know you don't know what goes on in that person's house like they didn't even have no furniture like that should have been like clue number one two three four and five like for real so anyways thank you guys check out the story sorry it was so quick but i got my homegirl waiting outside for me so i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share this video and i'll see you guys later